Our 66 Ford F100 is going to get a suspension makeover, but first we need to remove the factory suspension. Before we do any work, safety is important. We're using a lift and properly rated hydraulic floor jacks to safely support the truck and suspension as it is removed. A big heads up here, you will save time and frustration if you make sure you have the correct tools before you dig into your project. A 52 year old truck is all SAE and you will need a good set of wrenches and sockets with a complete range including 16th inch sizes. WD-40 or PB Blaster is a great idea to use to pre-soak and lubricate fasteners before you begin removing parts. Starting on the front, after removing the wheel and tire, it is a very good idea to inspect your brakes by removing the drum and assessing what you may find. Here we found the brakes were installed incorrectly. We decided to rebuild the drum brakes. You may want to upgrade the discs, but just rebuilding the drum brakes properly still works great and is much easier on the budget. Now we can get down to business. Remove the shock and coil spring and get them out of the way so that you can tackle the radius arm bolt. The radius arm locates and secures the I-beam, fixing it in the correct position front to back. With the radius arm bolt gone, it's time to remove the pivot bolt. This fixes the I-beam on the opposite side from the radius arm. With both of these bolts removed, apply a little persuasion and you can remove the entire I-beam and spindle assembly. You can take your beam and spindle to your bench and begin to dismantle the spindle assembly. Remove the grease caps to gain access to the kingpin. The kingpin is the part that holds the entire front end together. This is a machined and polished pin which will be around 7 eighths of an inch in diameter. Be aware this pin may be original and will not just fall out for you. You may need to take your beam spindle assembly to your local machine shop and have them Press the pins out for you. We used an H-frame press to push these pins out. By the way, make sure to remove the lock bolt from the beam. This bolt locks the kingpin in place and keeps it from moving up and down in the spindle. Also, note the position of the kingpin bearing. You will want to put your new bearing in the same position. Now if you used your local machine shop to remove the king pins, you're going to want them to also remove and replace the king pin bushing. Keep that in mind. Back to the truck. You're most likely going to need to replace your radius arm bushings. So now it's time to remove the radius arm. The nut at the end of the radius arms can be removed after the cutter key is extracted and you will probably have to pry the old bushings away from the arm. These old bushings obviously need to be replaced. 
The entire front suspension has been removed. Time to do some cleanup on the frame, getting ready to install the new DJM lowering kit.